The mangroves here in Florida have an impressive array of bird species, but it's also home to a very curious mammal. They may look familiar, but this is actually one of the most unique and highly adapted species here in this habitat. Today, we're looking for the marsh rabbit. Now you may be wondering, why are we looking for a species of rabbit in a mangrove habitat? The answer is, these animals are perfectly adapted for semi-aquatic habitats. Marsh rabbits prefer mangroves, swamps, marshes, and other wetlands, so we are actually in the exact right habitat. We are seriously up against the clock for this search, because like many species here in Florida, marsh rabbits are most active during the dawn and dusk hours of the day. This is known as being crepuscular, and this behavior allows the rabbits to forage during the period in which their predators are least active and the sun isn't too strong. During the heat of the day, marsh rabbits stay tucked away in burrows or vegetation, rendering our chances of seeing them pretty low. These mangroves are full of incredible wildlife, a testament to the unique richness of this ecosystem. But even after hiking through perfect habitat and scouring each stand of vegetation, there are no signs of our target rabbits. We found some incredible wildlife so far, but no luck on locating the marsh rabbit. But there's still plenty of habitat to explore, and we know of another place where we might be able to track this species down. The sun is pretty high in the sky now. It's even getting hot for us out here. Time to regroup and come up with a new plan. We're probably going to need to wait until tomorrow to find the rabbits. It's gotten too hot already today. One of the things that makes marsh rabbits unique is that they are very comfortable in and around water. So we can greatly narrow down our search area by hitting locations that are situated on bodies of water. We know one spot that is absolutely perfect. We've even seen marsh rabbits there in the past. It's a new morning now, the conditions are right, let's head out and see if our new strategy will pay off. We've come to an island that's in the middle of a lake to be able to find these marsh rabbits more easily. And lo and behold, there's actually one right behind me through these shrubs. Now, this habitat is perfect for marsh rabbits because they are incredibly proficient swimmers. Their small ears and large feet make them both powerful swimmers and very hydrodynamic animals. So it's not uncommon to see marsh rabbits swimming through the water if they're trying to get from one feeding location to another or escape predators. These animals are absolutely incredible and a species that I bet a lot of people don't know exist in the United States. Finding a marsh rabbit has proven to be a bit of a challenge for us because they're actually a rather secretive species, and in fact, not much is known about their behavior in the wild. We had to come out very early in the morning to catch this guy feeding. He'll be eating grasses and aquatic plants mostly. And what we found is that they're a very timid species. They'll very quickly run off into the brush and out of the sight of our cameras. So we consider ourselves very lucky to have encountered an elusive creature like this out in the open. While getting this episode was a little more difficult than we expected, it was a lot of fun getting these unusual mammals on camera. If you'd like to learn about some more mammals, this time from Costa Rica, check out this video where we show you some of the most incredible mammals in the rainforest. And with that, we hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.